Hello, I have a scrapbook.com haul to show you. It just arrived about a couple of hours ago. I opened it up and I wanted to show you. First of all, I picked up some of these um, plastic, hard plastic, um, like folders. They're big pockets that you can, and they've got a slit right here, so you could put the flap in. These were um, at half price. I think they're $9.99 for five, so I thought that was pretty good. I got picked up five in this pink color, and I picked up five in the mint color. So that's what's there. And then I also picked up a couple of albums. I have silver ad albums for 2017. That was the first year I went into a small book but they're not really Christmassy. They're just, you know, they're silver and they look festive, but you know, not quite Christmassy enough. So these were on sale for $11.24, I believe each. And so I thought I could put those, the year 2017 into, into these. So anyway, that's one thing that I got. And these are, I believe the Echo Park or the Cartabella. Oh, they're Echo Park. Um, so they're not the huge spine. They're not the three inch. They're probably like two, two and a quarter, um, which is perfect because those other, the two binders that I had were also a smaller spine. Not the ones that I really love. I really love the Studio Calico because they've got a full three inch in their spine. But anyway, I picked those two up. I got this free, more of the Candy Cane Lane um, by Prima, Frank Garcia for Prima. Uh, I already have that entire collection, a lot of it. And then um, they um, were giving this as a gift also. So the stickers were a gift and this was a gift. And then I believe it was like um, free shipping. I think I got that on this. So, oh, and let me show you this. I wanted to, I was scrolling and I'm like, I don't know what to buy. I have like, there's nothing that I really need. So as I was scrolling through Christmas papers, I found this paper and it looked absolutely adorable and it is, and it comes within these three pads and it looks like it's from um, Great Britain, England. So um, the first one is this, this is the basic pad right here. And I'll show it to you really quick. It's called Christmas Adventure by the Paper Boutique. Let me give you a close-up. The Paper Boutique Christmas Adventure. And it's very pretty. Look at it. I'll show you. This is on a grid. Christmas trees on a grid. Okay. It's very pretty. Very pretty blue. I mean, it coordinates with, you know, it coordinates with the Felicity Jane that I'm using, but I probably won't use it for that. But here it is. This is like a deep blue, like a navy blue with the ornaments, it's very pretty. And this is pretty. And this is beautiful, there we go. And this is an eight by eight pad, by the way. <clears throat> I just wanted to, you know, check it out. They were like $11. Um, and so I was like, okay, that's a great price. Let me check with this, check something, go out of my comfort zone, you know, out of the, the um, co collections that I usually buy or the brands that I usually buy. So I was scrolling and I saw this and I thought, oh, that's very pretty. So you get um, three of each print in this. And it's a total of 36 sheets and 12 designs. So again, um, the paper boutique, it comes with matching paper. I'm not gonna go through that with you, but also eight by eight. And then what was unique is it comes with this. It's called, um, like a project pad, everything you need for paper projects. And so it has a lot of pieces here, I'll kind of show you. Like it has tags and little pieces that you could, tickets, little pieces that you can cut out. It has that. And then it has like words if you want to cut them out and more tags, two by two squares. And it has these you can cut out and they make little envelopes. So that was really cute. So it does, this is like a project pad. And then it has these and you can make like mini cards to go in the envelope, like Christmas cards, but they're tiny um, to go into those envelopes. And then they even have like 
envelope labels and stuff. It's so cute. So, and then it has this, and which are the bows. You can cut these out and make bows and cut this out for washi tape. And then these for little um, photo frames. That's really cute. Bow embellishments, photo frames. And then you get the alpha and the numbers and the days of the week and, you know, the days of the week like this in case you're doing a little planner and you want to put them in there. You know, this, it's, it's just adorable. And then um, here we start again. So it's, I think, three times each of these two, 36 cut apart sheets, six designs, so maybe four of each. Um, but it's just so cute. And they were, I think, I believe, 1124. Maybe the maybe this paper was a little bit less, um, you know, the solids, but I don't know. Anyway, it was really cute, and I went outside my comfort zone, and I'm not disappointed at all. And then I thought, you know, I was scrolling again and fell in love with the tags. So I thought, what if I go to some of the more popular collections and just get the tag sheet? So that's what I did. So this is Doodlebug's Candy Cane Lane um, tag sheet. And the back, of course, um, there's this blank. So it's really cute. I'm going to cut those out. And then this one's from Simple Stories Feeling Frosty Collection. So there's their tags, and I believe the back is also blank. You know, it's got the top of it, but that's about it. That's cute. And then here's Simple Stories, um, mix, mix and a Mingle, and that's their, um, their tags. And I really like some of them. This one's a really cute. And so, um, yeah, they're really cute. Cookie Exchange holidays. I just went through there and said, you know, oh, and the back of theirs is a little bit different. They also have, they have a pattern actually. Some are blank, but most of them have like grids or writing space in the back. So that's really cute. Here's another one, Simple Stories, um, Baking Spirits Bright. I know a lot of people got this collection. It's really, really pretty. The red's really beautiful in this collection. Um, I didn't happen to get it, but um, it it is pretty. I may have gotten a little bit of it um, a few sheets here and there that I liked, uh, but I got those at my local retailer. And the backs of these all have grids. Let's get close up here, the grids. And then I got this one, Simple Stories Hearth, Hearth and Holiday. Um, those are very pretty too. So I picked up that. It's just tags. Just I'm going to cut them out and put them in my little box. And then, because um, that's what I use every year. And next year, I decided no collections. I'm going to go back in time and use other collections that I have. I have collections all the way to 2013. So I have collections, like two extra collections maybe for each year. So I have I have collections that I can dig into. And I'm going to try to use that stash next year. Whatever I don't use this year. Um, oh, this is the back of those tags. Those are really pretty. And these are from Holly Days. The Holly Days collection. And this one's um, Baking Spirits Bright again. Now these aren't tags, but they're journaling spots. And I'm always short on journaling spots. So, I mean, with the, you know, that has the blanks or the lines. Um, I'm always short on them, so I, I got these, and it has these on the back. Really cute. Here's some other ones, Mix and a Mingle. They're journaling spots. I picked those up, too. And then, uh, oh, this is the back to that. It's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? And then I picked up uh, recipe cards, because I don't know why. I've got, like, a collection of recipe cards, um... I think I'm going to start actually using them, you know, for the to put the recipes in there. A lot of times people ask me, like, if I post my rice on Facebook, people will say, how do you make your rice, you know? And so I think I want to get the recipe and write it down. It's in my mind. It's not written anywhere. I got it from my mother. And so I want to, i um, sorry that, for that. And um, so I want to get, you know, put the recipe, get that down on you know, on paper. And the back of it is this. I could also use these for journaling spots, right? I could turn it around and use this part part for journaling some longer stories, which is good too. So these are like multifunctional. If I don't use it for the 
for the recipe cards, I can use the bath for journal, journaling, which may be more likely because I did pick up a pack of recipe cards already. But anyway, those are pretty. These are by, these are all from um, Colorplay and they're nice and thick and sturdy. Again, more than likely I'll use the back for journaling. Here's another one. These are all from Colorplay and they're nice holiday uh, uh, recipe cards, very thick paper. And again, I could always use the back for telling the story. This one's a little bit different. This one is from Colorplay too. And it's from Home for the Holidays, Homemade Holidays. But it's um, it's like a waxy on the outside. I can feel it. It doesn't feel like the other ones. It, it's not textured. And here's the back, Buffalo check. And then I I went into a company that I, I never buy, and that's Reminisce. And I was floored by this by this page it's really thick i mean thick like thicker than any paper that i'm using in my in my book this year it's beautiful isn't that beautiful and so i thought it would make a beautiful page for my um december daily maybe to use an acetate as an overlay onto this because you know i live in arizona and so i live in glendale arizona which is a suburb of phoenix and um, it's the city where the Cardinal Stadium is, and I live like two miles from the Cardinal Stadium, and so I do not see snow. I do not get snow, and I do not see this unless I go over and drive to Prescott or Flagstaff. So this was absolutely beautiful. So I picked up this one sheet, and the back is also pretty, but you know I can get these that pattern anywhere, but I can't get this. So I mean, some of you can that live you know, in places like this could probably just snap a picture in your backyard. But to me, this is, to me, this is absolutely awesome, beautiful. Wouldn't want to live in it. Don't get me wrong. Love the sunshine here, but that's beautiful. And then this one's from a reminisce collection called Christmas Tree Magic. And I like the Christmas tree, but it's super thin. This paper right here is like super thin. And so, and it's got a, like a film on it, but it's very pretty. It's very pretty, it's got snowflakes there. So I got that, and then, let me start out with these. I got this is um, uh, New Year's, the Reminisce New Year's, it's called Golden Ball, and I don't have any New Year's paper, all of it's Christmas, so I thought this would be um, perfect for uh, my December daily. You know, I'd probably cut, you know, eight and a quarter or seven by eight and a quarter long and put this in there for New Year's. And it's very thick, very good quality paper. I mean, really qual good quality. I think it would be like a tiny bit step down from Cartabella. You know, their their paper is the is the best. So this is right up there. It's really nice. And I didn't think it would be, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And the back side is also gorgeous. Look at all that yellow gold, actually. But it's absolutely beautiful. And then I picked this also for New Year's. Isn't that pretty? So I just got the two sheets. Didn't splurge on a whole collection or anything. But just got the two sheets. Oh, the gold dots here. And then um, I got... Um, this for Halloween, I found the journaling spots. They were, they were, um, on sale from Simple Vintage October 31st collection. You know how I told you I always need journaling spots. So I got that. And then this by Reminisce. Isn't that, I was floored by it. I was just scrolling and I was like, oh my goodness. I think I had gone to scrapbook.com, you know, like in September or something and it was too early and they didn't have a lot of stuff out, but this time they did, and this was just, it's awesome, and it's thick, and the back side is equally beautiful. So I got that. And then, let me explain this to you. Actually, when I opened this up, I was almost crying. I'm very patriotic. I work for the federal government for 30 years. And when I say I worked for 30 years, that means I worked nonstop. Federal employees get a, a bad rap, but 
we don't have like a minute down like people in the private sector have like, oh, it's slow. It is never slow. From the day I started, August 26, 1991, to the day I retired, 12-31-2021, I had always had more on my list of things to do than I could accomplish in a day. I'm telling you, it, it's, it's like being, you know, it's fast. You have to think fast. You have to analyze fast. You have to make decisions fast. You don't have time to to go back, to ponder, to, oh, I'm going to leave this here for tomorrow and, and figure it out. No, there's no room for that. You have to make decisions quick. You have to analyze quick. You have to apply the law quick to what you're reading because there's no time to go back. So um, again, there's more things on the to-do list than you could ever list. You, you know, I may go home and before I go home, take five minutes and list the four top things I want to get done the next day. I'm lucky if I get to the second one. That's how, you know, how much things, you know, how, you know, what things entail there, you know. So I just wanted to give that um, for whatever you believe my testimony that is how incredibly busy we are. So I want to go back and do an album. I have photos from when I first started, my first day, you know, working in Oakland, California, working in um, Las Vegas, Nevada, working in Phoenix, working in El Paso, working in Dallas. I have a lot of photos of things that I've done over the years. And so I want to create an Americana um, um, album. And so this is some paper that I bought for this. And I have some, but this was gorgeous. And I picked it, of course, for this. I love this wood look and especially, you know, the colors. So got it for this page. And all these reminisce ones that I'm going to show you are nice and thick. This one is absolutely beautiful. And I got it for this side, for the stars. They look like some of them are darker further back and some of them are are in the front it's very beautiful this i was looking at this look and i'm gonna get choked up again and i've seen the statue of liberty because i went there in 19 like around 1987 i went to see the statue of liberty in new york but i would always go to dc so this reminds me of of dc and and new york it's just beautiful and it's again very very thick and this, look at that. That is beautiful right there. That is absolutely beautiful. So I want to use some of these and I'll probably, I don't know if I'll make a mini album because I'd hate to cut into these or if I'll just do a 12 by 12 with layouts, you know, with 12 by 12 layouts because I've got such pretty paper for this. Look at this flag. It looks, it looks real. It looks like somebody put it there. I mean, Reminisce does an excellent job on this. Look at that, you can see the stitches and the stars. I mean, this is beautiful. And this other side too. But look at this, look at that. With the old glory in the background. So, I mean, I'm very proud to be an American, you know? My parents were born here. My great-grandparents were born in Texas on one side. On the other side, they were born in Sonora, Mexico, but they came over real early, like in the 1910s, maybe the 1920s, um, to the United States. So, and, the, you know. Actually, the ones that live in Texas, um, they were born here. I'm not sure if they were born here when it was already Texas or when it was part of, part of Mexico. I'm not sure, but they're, one of them, it was probably... Texas already. One of them's from San Antonio. My grand, my grandfather, and my other, and my grandmother, his wife, is from, was born in Van Horn, Texas. Yeah. And then look at this, the Star Spangled Banner. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so precious, and it's very, I can't. This is like Cartabella paper on this one. It's got the 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 texture, and it's thick. This one's just like Cartabella. It's absolutely beautiful. I could always use this, God bless America. You know, look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. And the stars in the back. This, isn't that pretty? 
Like if anybody has a spouse that was in the service, I mean, this would be a great background um, to use for, oh, this is single-sided. A great background to use for a photo, right? A photo right here. And that, isn't that pretty? And then, <laughs> because I was on a reminisce kick, I was going to get some of these single, and then I thought, I'm going to go back and see what the collection cost. And it was, I don't know, it was less than $15. Maybe it was 11 I forgot. But anyways, it was, you know, it was very reasonable. So I got these. They're eight 12 by 12 papers. There's only um, two sheets per design. So two sheets, I don't have to make a decision on front or back. But these are absolutely breathtaking. And and maybe because I was seeing them on my on my large computer. But check that out. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love that. And so in the back, look at the back. I mean, this is another great page for... Um, December daily to have an acetate on top of this. Look at you could see the you could see the frozen water on those branches. This is beautiful. And it's got sort of like a bokeh effect up close and then further away. So there's two of those right front and back. And look at this. Look at this box. I think this is absolutely amazing. And then the back is this. So I got two of those. And this, this, on the screen, it looks like a screensaver. It's so pretty. So I got this page. It's gorgeous. And the back is, um, I'm glad I got two of these because look at the back. The back is absolutely beautiful too. So these are like hidden gems. I never go to reminisce, but now I know I'm going to put it on my list. Well, I said I wasn't going to buy any more Christmas paper, didn't I? See, I'm already making a list for next Christmas. But I would check them out because these are gorgeous. And they're great for under an acetate. Like, so you don't have, it's not, the acetate isn't competing with the photo in the back. But it's, you know, on top of this. This is beautiful. Thick, good quality. And again, two of them so I don't have to decide. This one, <laughs> this is awesome. I just, you guys don't understand how beautiful these are. I don't know if it, the photo, the it's doing justice to it, but look at the pine cones. Look at the depth of that photo. Look at that. It looks like 3D. Like you could just, here, I'm going to pick one up. Doesn't it? That's awesome. And two of those. And this, can I be honest? I don't like it. Oh, I hate it. I will probably, other than maybe these little pine cones, I would not use any of this. Maybe these two washi strips. And maybe the pine cones. Nothing else appeals to me here. Not even the little decals that they did. Yeah, nope, nothing. So this is, I'm going to put it, I'm doing a box for um, giveaway to my sister-in-law, um, trying to get her into crafting. So maybe I'll, I'll throw that in there because it ha it'll have an alpha. Anyway, that's what I picked up on my just, you know, I just wanted a couple of things, but they had such a good deal on free shipping. And so, um, I mean, I could get free shipping all the time. Scrapbook.com isn't that far from me. Um, the building itself, and they do have pickup. I could pick these up, but for the, what, $8.93, my shipping's never over like $9. My husband says, just pay it. He doesn't want to go all the way to the East Valley. I live in the West Valley. And then there's Phoenix, and then Mesa's on the other side. So he doesn't want to do that drive. There's a lot of traffic. We'd have to coordinate it during certain times of the day. And he just would rather not. So he'd rather me pay for shipping than have to go over there. So that's what we did. You know, hey, if he doesn't want to drive, and I certainly don't want to drive the freeways and stuff through Phoenix, um, it's worth it. But I could. I mean, if I if I ever get something in the... In the um, that's heavy and the, um, the shipping is just too much, you know, I can have them hold it for me for pickup. So again, 
I want to thank you. Sorry it was so long, but those were breathtaking. I wanted to show you those. Have a good day. Bye.